open that. I was I was saving it to do a video, but we'll do it right now. Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. I'm about to open my daily loot chests. I got a life quest. I want to show you a few battles too, guys, because I've uh, there were some really amazing battles in this one, and they actually um, centered around the utility of Sloan, who is I think everybody's sleeping on Sloan right now. Um, he's like two, he's the cheapest summoner, so that tells you something. Um, and there's some amazing monsters that are that are a little older and sure a little bit more expensive. But if you've got an appetite or maybe some long term investment, uh, I want to show you something. So let's check this out first. Okay, I really still like this to me is an amazing card, especially at the higher levels with the stun. But these cards are so free, like they're I'm so cheap. It's pra they're practically free these days. I'm going to, I want to show you guys a couple of battles. Um, you, I want to show you a couple of battles, but I see that Dom's got a question there and I'm going to get to that soon here, Dom. I just want to show you some of the power that I've seen uh, today in my battles that were primarily around Sloan. This four game series, this was, I'll skip that one because it, I didn't, uh, th these three games, straight up Sloan with Hero of Beyond, Sloan, Hero of Beyond in there and Sloan, Hero of Beyond. Like this is the card I'm thinking of. And, but also the Silver Shield Archer for a two mana cost monster, which has his lightning strike or whatever it's called. It's the double strike, the twice, attack, attacking twice in a round. And when he only has one archery damage, but when you slap him in there with Sloan, let's, let's watch. First of all, this one's fun because the Hero of Beyond, which is about $10 per BCX, and is an epic so you need 46 of them to get a max like a max copy but at the highest level he's got last stand shield snipe and he's got close range so you know in con conjunction with sloan he can be quite dangerous this looks like i'm super outmatched i mean he heals he's got a tank like i feel like but i just wear him down he can only he can't keep up with the six archery and it's only because i've got sloan here because if i didn't have sloan my my archery would be lower and my last stand would be lower but I make it through because of that. And I wouldn't be, I might not even be able to put fight through those two healers at all. It might've been a neutral if it wasn't for last stand with the bonus from, from Sloan. So that was the first one. And I, and then I, and then I just tried to run it like all afternoon. Um, this one was another good one with Sloan and hero. Wyatt Earp. Love it. And in this situation, there was a noxious fume rule. So I specifically put a couple of nerds in front that I knew were going to die. I actually contrived this, this team in a way that I was fully expecting him to get his last end and to be cleansed. So I put, I brought the truth speaker with who offers cleanse. I brought that thinking these would die in the first round and then he would find his way to the first to the first position, get cleansed, then they would all die due to poison in the second round. That's how I wanted this to work, and it, and it really it works out just perfectly. And look at that lightning strike from this guy with the two archery damage. Even though he does die really quick, because he has very few hit points, he's so deadly when you drop when you add the extra archery damage. And I love. How many there's actually a lot of archery units like that on the white team now that over like let's say one two three um archery damage very few hit points but again when you match it up with sloan you're gonna make them very dangerous and i'm cleansed so i'm i'm good to go here last hand is such an amazing ability and this monster is only seven mana cost, so he's never going to be giant killed or whatever. He could be, he could be um, that other ability, which is not giant killer. The one where it's like death blow, I think it's called, where it's like there's only one enemy opponent left. And I just want to show you guys one more. Power of Sloan. Power of Sloan compels you. Oh, that's not the one. Close. 
that that was it actually i want to okay so those were just the two i wanted to show because this other one no let's watch this one too this is um clone gets or uh my archer gets it done with a distraction from my taunt i've got a shield bear in the first position with the taunt and he's gonna help keep alive obviously my my real like this guy is whatever and i he's just there to be a distraction i just want these guys to be able to do work and in this match i think it was weak magic i don't know that so i think i was particularly yeah look at weak magic so whenever it's weak magic i always use shield bearer because he comes out of the gate with like you know a million shields and then you bring a repair and you bring some extra armor um and and a resurrect if you have one two resurrects it can be an amazing combination And uh, we just gobble them up. This is not really. I didn't even really need. The Sloan buff didn't necessarily save me here because I I I think I prepared really well with with the shield bearer, but um, and then he comes back with his eight shields. Lights out. So I really like Sloan. I'm kind of surprised by. I'm surprised by a lot of the card prices right now though. But Sloan is one of them. Jim, you still there? Yeah, I didn't know if you were like still recording your video, so I was just not talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mind. I don't mind if you get in there. What do you think oh, about okay. Sloan? I think Sloan is amazing. The fact that she's the cheapest one, like it's it's ridiculous. I don't know how many times I've destroyed um, the. Kalia, Obsidian, along with uh, Arsa. Honestly, all of them I've destroyed with white. Yeah. Like, it's not even like, close, is the thing. Like, it's. Yeah. It, she, like, Sloan is $2.66. And you're talking, like, what is that? Like, 20% more or something? I can't do the math. Yeah. Ex like, exactly. Like, maybe it's. So 10% would be two, 26 cents. It's like maybe 15% or 14% more. Like that's a lot of difference or, and I don't think, I mean, Thaddeus is good too, in my opinion. I don't think that's really makes a lot of sense either. Um, yeah. But I, I guess like I get it. There's just a lot of supply and, you know, people are, people actually like my good buddy Kush are buying packs, opening packs, selling cards, buying packs, opening packs, selling cards. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if I had more time and patience, I might do the same thing. You know, along with the, um, the damage output that white has, mm -hmm. they have so many good tanks. Like yeah. you look at the one with taunt. Yeah. Um, shield bearer. Is that his name? That's right. Um, yeah. Yeah. So anything that has sneak snipe is not going to matter. Yep. Then you also have the healer at four mana that gets range damage. Yes. And and if we're talking about silver, at level four, the Venari Crystal Smith gets two attack before General Salone bus, uh, buffs her. Mm. Yeah, and the then, Crystal. Yeah, you're right. Two attack at four. Yep. Yeah. And then we were talking about, you know, the uh, Pelicor uh, Arbalist. Mm hmm. To where he's rocking so much damage output as well. Double strike, two of the gate. Like even at bronze, you're gonna do two damage double strike with Sloan three damage double strike. That's to me. I'm really surprised this card is cheap because, you know, everybody. I mean, it's a Chaos Legion card. I guess you get it for free at level one, and maybe that's all you really need, um, if you're playing in bronze. But. Um, I don't know, man. I just, I just can't see these cards being these prices for, let's say, even the next year. I think in the there, there's a big U-turn at some point real soon, and actually, especially as you start to see General Sloan stop being slept on. <laughs> 